I will tell you all what the Rishis discussed in their meeting and what Gautama Magarishi did. I am Saranya sages. Those sages looked at each other and said, We should survive with these miseries only as far as we stay at Gautama's ashram. We should do something for this. We should maintain our dignity. We should find out a way wherein we can do our penance without any disturbance. We should dispel Gautama from here somehow. Only then we can be happy. Let Gautama go somewhere. We all together will beat and chase him out from here. They all decided so. To enact their plan, they prayed to Lord Ganesha. They decorated and did archana to him with a sacred grass and lotus. They applied sindoor and chandan and showed dup, deep and served modak akshada as naivedya and did puja. On becoming happy with their puja, Lord Ganesha decided to do something for them and appeared before them. He asked those sages, sages, what do you all want? Tell me that. For that, those sages looked at Lord Ganesha and said, Lord, if you have mercy on us, chase away Gautama Magarshi along with his disciples from this ashram. This is the boon we wanted. Hearing to that, Lord Ganesha laughed. Sages, you all are doing a wrong thing. Gautama has not done anything wrong. If you all get angry over him, you will face obstacles. It is not right to do evil for people who helped you. If you decide to do evil for him, you all will be destroyed immediately. Oh, you all did penance to ask such a boon? Instead of desiring for good benefits, you all are asking as boon, something that could not even be imagined. It is like desiring for black beads, leaving the gems in hand. Ask me something else that you all want, said Lord Ganesha. But those sages asked the same boon again. At that time, Lord Ganesha again looked at them and said, In this world, an evil person in the company of sadhus becomes a sadhu at one point of time. But a sadhu in the company of evil persons will become evil person at one point of time. If somebody does any harm to a sadhu, he will take it as a result of his karma and does good to the person who did harm to him. So, if at any time Gautama does harm to you, you think he has done good to you. Hearing to women's word, you all are doing like this, that Gautama will himself give happiness to you all soon. Like this, he explained justice to them in different way. Even when Lord Ganesha advised them so, those sages did not hear to it. As Lord Ganesha had given word that he will give the boon what they asked, Lord looked at them and said, as you all are not hearing to what I say, I will give the boon as what you all desire. You will experience a sin that results from that. Saying so, he disappeared. Gautama Magarshi was in penance without knowing the idea of other sages. Lord Ganesha decided to enact the boon he gave to the sages. He took the form of an old cow, which does not have energy to walk. Wheat had grown well in Gautama's feet and was ready for harvest. Old cow went and grazed there. As per God's thought, Gautama came there. He looked at the grazing cow. He threw a handful of straw. The moment it touched the body of the cow, the cow fell down, left its life even while Gautama was seeing. The rishis and rishi patnis who came there saw that, Oh, what an act Gautama has done. He has killed a cow. He is a terrible person. Gautama Magarshi and his wife Agalya felt very sad. What to do? Where to go? For no reason the cow died. How to wash the Gavahatya dosha? They lamented. The sages there asked, What happened to your wisdom? Where went your penance? What happened to your omniscient knowledge? Where did all what you studied go and hide? They spoke very low of him. Oh, we shouldn't see you at all as you have killed the cow, they said. Rishi Patnis also hurted them much with their words. Gautama, here afterwards, you don't stay here. Go away somewhere where we'll not see you. If you stay here, Agni Deva will not accept our Havana. Pitrus will not accept our Sharda. There was no limit for the harsh language they used against him. All threw stones on him. Gautama Magarshi thought something more might happen. So he looked at them and said, Madhapas, I will really go away from here. He left his ashram along with his wife and disciples. He went one crore distance from there 
until gauhatiya dosha goes one should not do any pitru rituals sandhya vandana and all without doing any daily rituals which he used to do regularly he just remained there on seeing gautama rishis and rishi patnis covered their face with cloth for 15 days it went like this gautama called upon all rishis swamis some of you all should show anugraha to me to get rid of the sin i have done if there is any way please tell me that without elders upatesh prayaschit or others these will not come in hand he asked them very humbly nobody answered for that even more humbly he requested them to show mercy on him gautama thought himself as a sinner and so he should not go nearer to brahmanas and speak so he stood in a distance and prayed to all of them who were standing together he begged to them saying sages please think and tell me a way to get rid of my sin for that those sages said first you tell your sin so that all knows about it come around the world when you feel hungry when you get bhiksha from vedic scholars tell i killed a cow in the field i have come for bhiksha get one handful each in seven streets and eat after that come here and do shantirayana fasting shantirayana fasting is during growing moon each day increase food by one handful and during waning moon reduce one handful each day do this fasting and also do 101 times pradakshina around brahmagiri if you do like this you will be purified to get rid of the sin that arose due to killing of cow there is another way also make ganga come here take bath in it do koti parthivalinga archana doing this way also you can wash your sin and become saint first come around this brahmagiri 11 times after all this if you do sadakumba abhishek this body will be cleansed sages on hearing to what those rishis said gautama magarishi took the sankalp to do koti parthivalinga puja and brahmagiri pradakshina getting the order from brahmanas he came around brahmagiri as said in shastras he completed doing koti linga archana patibrata agalya also did shiva puja in the prescribed manner disciples did service to both of them